So Korg's very first vocoder from 1978, the VC-10. And as you can see, it was part of the MS range. And in fact, here's a photo of Fumio Mieda of Korg demonstrating the VC-10 at the launch of the MS range in 1978. And the chairman, Sutomu Kato, is in the background looking like a boss in more ways than one. Um, it's in the same basic chassis as an MS-10. It then has <laughs> this amazing gooseneck microphone <laughs> and it gets even cooler because it actually says Korg vocoder on the mic itself which is awesome it's got real kind of vintage supermarket vibes about it so clean up in aisle three please that's linda to aisle three thank you for shopping at gateway in terms of the vocoder itself you've got internal tone generators and i believe it's an oscillator per key which is something called did a lot in the 70s surprising but true you've got some performance controls i've listed that in the video description for people who want to know the nerdy details uh, and then there's an ensemble circuit which is the same ensemble as you find in the ps3100 no less so with just goosey lucy here uh, and the internal tone generators you can do some basic vocoding so let's listen to that first So as you can hear, it cannot help but sound like the era into which it was born. It just reeks of the 70s, makes me want to go and get my space hopper and bounce down to the nearest picket line. Uh, and to push that point further, I wanted to just do a comparison with my Seeker's Voice vocoder, which is still 20 years old, but it's a good 20 years newer than this. Check this out. <laughs> So 70s vocoders have a real quality to them that's very distinctive. I featured the SVC350 and the VP330 on this channel in the past and they both had a very similar quality which is kind of dark and dirty and not that clear to be honest um, modern vocoders or relatively modern when comparing it with the seeker's voice are much more intelligible much clearer and cleaner but you know it's a preference thing you might love that old kind of weirdly wobbly sound of a 70s vocoder the next section of the video is going to be me experimenting running things through the vc10 to see what happens I'm going to call this
So there we go, the VC10 from 1978. It's probably the coolest looking vocoder I've ever used with that MS range aesthetic and the, <laughs> the Goosey Lucy microphone here. Um, I hope I also got across that there are no rules as to what you can run through a vocoder. It's not just for the robot voice. Uh, like a sample and hold circuit or a ring modulator, uh, there are electronic circuits that process audio and or control signals in a specific way, and you can put anything you want through them. So uh, you should have a vocoder yourself. If you don't have a hardware one, most doors have a freeware vocoder in them, so you can experiment with just chucking stuff through it to see what happens. A huge thank you to the owner of this VC10, and thank you to you for watching.